Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. I'm chilling out in a hotel room, uh, and I'm thinking about my, my recent trip to Istanbul. Istanbul is known as the Queen of Cities. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is known as the Queen City, but Istanbul, formerly Constantinople, was dubbed the Queen of Cities. It is a city that, that extends into both the continent of Asia and Europe, and it sat as the seat of of the Byzantine Empire for more than 1,000 years, finally overwhelmed by the Ottoman Empire. Once Constantine's New Rome, or Constantinople, was a Christian city of, of immense wealth and architecture, I saw that, that architecture firsthand as I visited the rooms of the Hippodrome, once this massive architectural wonder seated some 100,000 people who were attending the chariot races. I also went to the Hagia Sophia, another triumph of architectural design, was the great cathedral of the East and and then transitioned into a museum, and today it is a mosque. As I, as I visited Istanbul, I, I thought back to the Crusades, Christian Crusades, particularly the Christian Crusade of 1204. That was a crusade in which Christian crusaders stole many of the Christian treasures and took them back to the West. But I also, I also discovered because of a relationship between the Pope and the Patriarch, Patriarch Bartholomew, the ecumenical Patriarch, many, or at least some of the greatest of these treasures have been returned, returned to the ecumenical patriarchate. But most of all, during my trip, I was impressed with how fragile civilizations are and how easily they can be lost. I had the immense privilege of sitting in a restaurant amongst some great men of God, not the least of which was the ecumenical patriarch himself. I was overlooking the Bosporus, the strait that links the Black Sea with the Mediterranean. You could see both Asia and Europe from the vantage point of that restaurant window. But as I sat across from this, this man who personifies humble simplicity, the ecumenical patriarch, I thought about his words. I memorized them. I hope I don't butcher them. But he said there's a direct link between the oneness of Christians and the image of the Holy Trinity and the missionary dimension of the church. The church looks not inward but outward. It exists not for the sake of itself, but for the sake of the world's salvation. Faith in the triune God, he said, signifies that we are each of us missionaries dedicated to the preaching of the gospel. Oh, and he also said the church as a mystery of mutual Trinitarian love is true to itself only if that circle of love is continuously enlarged, only if new persons are continuously brought within her. 
And I suppose that, that very thought from the lips of the ecumenical patriarch is the key to maintaining the transformational power of Christ in empires, the sustaining power that continues to extend but also points us to the ultimate empire, an empire that will not crumble or be overwhelmed, but an empire that will last for all eternity. The new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven, prepared as a bride, beautifully adorned for her husband. Thanks for tuning in.